Welcome back. Another bit of a random one, but you know, the weather's nice, so I thought I'd uh, get a, an outdoor job done and dusted once and for all. I'm lifting this section of turf, getting rid of it, and uh, I thought I'd show you how I go about doing a job like that, because it's not as easy as it sounds. I've done this whole strip up here. This is all getting turned into flower beds and hedges and whatnot, so I just, as much as I love grass, I don't want this bit of grass. So ideally, if you've got a big area to do, I would seriously consider hiring a turf lifter. This is kind of, I mean, it's a biggish strip, probably, what, 10 metres by two metres or something, so it's a lot to do by hand, but it's probably not big enough to warrant getting a turf lifter, but if you've got a big area to do, I would hire a machine, because this is back break and work. I will <laughs> pretty warn you of that. I'll quickly show you the tools that I'm using for this. So of course, we've got my trusty, very old wheelbarrow. I've got a bucket just for chucking like rocks and stuff like that in, because you, you, find, you find all sorts buried that you probably don't want to leave. I've got a trowel. I'll show you what that's for in a bit. I've got some sturdy gardening gloves, because you will get blisters if you're not careful. I've got, what's it called, one of them half moon edging iron things for cutting the grass. I've got a spade, which you may or may not need. I've got a yard brush, just for sweeping up. I've got a rake, and all importantly, I've got a garden fork. As you can see, I've got a giant pile of leftover turf. Now, if you've got the space, you can make a thing known as a turf stack. And to do that, you basically stack the turf back to back and it'll rot down and turn into compost over mm, probably a year or so. I haven't got the space for that. So I'll be taking this off to get composted. So, don't know if you can see it, but first thing I like to do, get it cut up into some sections, make it a bit more manageable. And to do that, I'm just using the uh, edging iron thing, half moon thing. Probably do this in uh, four sections. Now, I normally try and work on about two, two rows at the same time. Sometimes you just hit rocks and stuff and just have to brush past that for now. It also helps to have nice sturdy boots. After all that, I forgot to put my gloves on. I've already got a blister. So then, don't even attempt to lift this with a spade. You will break your back. Get the fork in. I'm just trying, I'm hitting a stone straight away, but just try and loosen it all off with a fork. If you start at one end, you should be able to get the whole square lifted more or less in one go, apart from that bit where I'm hitting a stone. You see the edgy bits, I'm just sticking in here a little bit. Just where it's grown into the paving. That. That's it. Save the worms. And then I'm just going to work all the way along this row in the same way. Do a row at a time. Now you can leave it at that and just take these away or I mean you can even just leave them upside down but it's not going to be very plantable on if that makes sense because the grass will rot away but I want to plant this straight away so I don't want to keep the turf so what I like to do is just go around with a spade and this is really heavy clay soil here where I am obviously if you're in a more sandy soil area 
you might find it's a little bit different to this, but this is heavy clay soil. But if I go around with a spade and just try and break up some of these clumps a little bit on the back of the turf, then I can get a lot of this soil back. And it also means I'm taking less stuff away to be composted because these are pretty heavy as they are. So I just like to go through all of them like that, just crisscross your spade patterns. If you find any big rocks or anything, now's the time to get rid of them, put them in the bucket. And then, get your trowel, and you can use that just to kind of hit off any other little loose bits of soil and stuff, doesn't need much. You can get it almost down to the bare root, which is ideal, because these are heavy from this little strip here that I've been doing. I've probably got about two ton of turf to get rid of. Give it a bit of a shake. That's pretty much as clean as I'm going to get it into the barrow. This is just a solid clump of root here. I think, I don't know what's under here, but I think there's just a big rock or something. Obviously we've got the, the concrete at the edge of these edge, edge and strips of concrete goes down at like 45 degrees under there, but there's something else under there that's probably a big paving slab or something. It's caused all the roots to bunch up, so there's no point trying to get soil out of that. And then the last bit, just before raking it over, just give it a quick dig over, get any massive rocks out. I say, I don't know where that one is that I hit. So I think it's just the concrete at the edge of this. I'll leave it. I'll just give the soil a bit of a dig over, get some air in. So that's the concrete from all of that. That's fine. Break it in. Try and break up any big clumps because with this clay soil, if you leave the clumps like that and it dries out, they're like they're like rocks. Like that. See that's that's just clay that's dried out. Clay soil. It turns into this kind of powdery stuff, so if you try and break it up a bit, now is your time. The other thing I forgot to mention as well, this is a good job for spring, because if you leave it too late in the year, the grass gets really dry and it's very hard to dig when the grass is really dry. This is perfect, you can see it's just slightly, slightly moist. You don't want it when it's just been raining because the grass is really heavy, so it hasn't rain, rained for a few days, but you can see the grass is still, the soil's a bit damp. And it just makes it easier to get the turf up. It's not too heavy, it's not too dry. When it's dry, it's like digging into concrete. I'm going to plod on, get this whole section out, and I need to get all the grass taken off to get uh, composted. Ah, oh, downer. Broke my uh, half moon edge. I must have hit a rock or something. It was quite sharp as well. I think I've just hit a, hit a stone in the ground. That's proper dead. Doesn't matter. I can use a spade. I'll use a spade when I do the rest of the cutting. It'll be fine. It's easier with one of them though.
final job was to empty my trusty compost heap to just mix some nice fresh organic material into the soil. I concreted in a little divide to my neighbour's property just using some matching block paving, planted it all up and that was the job pretty much done. The planting will take a couple of years to mature but between the lavender, the crocosmia and the fuchsias it won't be long before you can't see the soil anymore. I hope you enjoyed that. A little bit random, but you like it when I keep things random and it means I can actually get out in the garden for a bit. Take care folks and see you next time. <laughs>